Hey Hyper Spinners, I've got a quick one for you tonight. It's a Hyper XML Spin. Uh, remember, we'll be using this to create our playlist uh, databases. And uh, some of you guys might use this as a replacement for your Hyper Search. And uh, let's get started. <music> Like always, we're going to go to hyperspin-fe.com. We're going to go to the download section, and we're going to pick up Hyper XML Spin. You guys saw this in a prior video when we were talking about playlists and creating those. Uh, this app essentially allows you to launch uh, any game, uh, regardless of system, and it will launch the game through uh, Rocket Launcher. So it's seamless just like uh, all the other games are. And it also allows you to create system links uh, very quickly on the fly uh, at a press of a button. So you guys aren't taking up extra storage space on media that you already have. So uh, the author here is Romano. Uh, and uh, I essentially helped him beta test uh, this as well as a number of uh, other folks. Uh, uh, all stand-up guys uh, I'll show you guys uh, the app and uh, let's get started so uh, this doesn't do it justice guys uh, this guy's got 15,000 views but only 2,000 uh, downloads uh, missed opportunity guys missed opportunity so go ahead and download this uh, it's good it, it's very simple and uh, it'll get the job done for your playlist so uh, let's let's do this so go ahead and download the uh, the file and what you'll do is you'll unzip this uh, in your Hyperspin uh, folder. Uh, you don't need a folder uh, for uh, Hypersearch. You're just gonna take all of its contents and just drop them into the main uh, root Hyperspin folder, uh, which you see here. I've got a couple backups because I had uh, some beta testing, like I said. Uh, I won't include those in the mega, but um, the INI, I know we've uh, previously opened up these and modified them at will, uh, you can certainly do so. I'll provide this on the mega site. Uh, we'll just change the paths to your uh, Hyperspin uh, setup uh, based on the examples below uh, and up above, uh, the Hyperspin and Rocket Launcher, but uh, the wizard in the uh, XE uh, gets the job done here. So there's not a whole lot of tampering through this uh, INI uh, file here. So. All we've got to do is open up Hyper XML Spin, and it, it might ask, prompt you to um, grant security here uh, or account control. I'm going to hit yes. And it may uh, just populate in your system tray. So just go to the bottom right corner, click on the arrow, and double click that if that doesn't populate. Uh, but here's uh, the GUI interface. So uh, if I were to type in Mario and just uh, hit OK. You would find all the Mario games across all systems. And I uh, could launch any of the games. And, uh, that's it, guys. I mean, it's, it's basic. Uh, so you can go different pages by clicking the arrows. Um, and if you want to go back, you're going to hit uh, the escape button. But let's kind of get further into this. Uh, go ahead and push the plus uh, sign here. And that's going to give you a couple extra options to search on. Uh, the editor, uh, you know, if you already have uh, a database that you created through Hyper XML uh, Spin, if you type it in exactly, uh, you'll basically be able to edit uh, the name and such. Uh, the system, uh, if you wanted to search by a certain system, so if I wanted to find all the Mario games and uh, Amstrad uh, GX 4000, I'm going to find nothing, but uh, you would specifically just search for that system and get those results, but uh, preferably uh, I just keep it as all systems. Same with all genres, all years, and uh, extras. So I keep all these at the default because uh, there's really uh, no use uh, for me uh, to change those up, but there might be for you guys. Um, 
I did create an all favorites wheel, so I did select uh, with favorites. So this is going to look at uh, when you're in hyperspin and you mark a game as a favorite, it's going to take those text files and concatenate those things together, and it's going to spit out those results. So if I were to search just the favorites, I'd click favorites, and you know, I, I could hit OK here, and that's going to find all the favorites, uh, which you can see there's a lot of them. Um, so outside of that, uh, I'm going to exit out of this here to get back by hitting escape, because uh, I want to show you guys uh, how to set this thing up. Uh, so I've got all of these set to uh, the top uh, item here. And that's just going to search everything in your system. So again, just a basic search. Just type in the box here and hit OK. And that's going to get the job done for you guys. Uh, but to set this up, uh, we're going to hit Param for parameters. And we're going to uh, map the hyper launch. Or sorry, that's what it used to call it. Um, rocket launcher and uh, hyper spin. Uh, you can just hit the select button and uh, select the path uh, to your uh, directory and your exe. And I've got this labeled as list item, uh, or items list, sorry, uh, because I don't have uh, hyper XML spin as a item on my wheel. It's uh, happening all behind the scenes. But if you wanted it on a wheel, you could essentially create via the Hyper HQ wizard create a new wheel, name it a uh, hyper XML spin if you wanted to, and then you'd find it in this list and select it uh, so you could launch it from your wheel, just like what you, what we've talked about with hyper search. Uh, but I, I prefer hyper search in general uh, for searching for games. This I'm uh, using as a dedicated playlist, uh, a third party app that will launch uh, any game regardless of system and create those uh, playlist uh, XMLs. So I'm gonna to go to controls next. I've set this to escape, uh, option key, uh, which you'll see uh, in a uh, second here, we've got the options tab. If I were to press F2, it's gonna open up that options uh, tab at any given time. If I wanted to hide this GUI interface at any time, I could push F5 as well. And to so the virtual keyboard that displays this, and I don't have emulate joystick. Uh, options. So I don't, again, I'm hiding this behind the scenes, so I don't have this on full screen. Uh, there are some themes to choose from. That's just the look and feel. It defaults to bungles here, uh, but you can select the other themes. Again, since I'm doing this behind the scenes, uh, the theme doesn't really matter too much to me. Uh, if you wanted to launch uh, other apps or close apps uh, with this, uh, you could select those and uh, those apps would obey uh, hyper XML spin, when, you know, when it's launching and closing. Uh, but for you guys, I'm going to say uh, video preview is a must. You want to select that. And you also want to use uh, NTFS system links. So this is going to allow uh, the links to get created automatically, where it borrows the media you already have and it doesn't take up extra storage when you're creating these extra playlists. Um, parental controls, I, I haven't ever used, but you essentially can password protect these searches so you know you, your kids are safe. Um, the other items are self-explanatory, hidden at startup, confirm exit. Uh, you will want to set the transparency all the way to the left uh, so you don't have uh, sort of this background uh, behind the GUI, which you can certainly uh, add. Um, you can also change the different type of searches uh, that this provides. Uh, basically, each one of these will provide a different GUI, like the, the quick search, uh, you know, might be very small and it's gonna, uh, it's just to kind of tidy up how you like the, these sort of views to happen. Um, I just leave mine to search view because again, I have no uh, reason to pull it up. It's all behind the scenes. Uh, you'll wanna put the interface color, um, how I've got it here, as well as the font color. I've got in the middle there, and uh, the style uh, you know, the text, if you will, if you want to make something fancy. Um, we're going to go to the next tab here, the update. This is uh, one of the most important ones. Uh, once you have uh, set your uh, system up, or as you guys update uh, your wheels, uh, 
at any given time, you're going to want to go in here and click check medias and uh, scan filters. So you're simply just going to click the check medias button and that's going to basically create system links on the background and uh, it's just looking for your media and it's remembering what you have. And then once that's done, and that, that could take some time, uh, prior versions to this, I, I feel like it took 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, that was uh, a very long time uh, for what I remember. Uh, now it's very clippy. I feel like it took a minute or two to update all the media because uh, it remembers what you had done in the past. So just uh, be warned there, it will uh, take some time possibly on your very first uh, go here. Uh, once that's done, um, you know, you'll have a loading bar here, so you'll be able to see the progress. Uh, there's scan filters. You'll also press that. It's just going to scan the system. And once that's done, uh, you'll uh, push OK. Uh, the about here. I know uh, Romano um, is always uh, accepting donations, of course, to further uh, his other apps that he provides. Uh, he's very active in the community and uh, well respected. Um, same with these uh, fine gentlemen here. So yeah, th those guys uh, beta test uh, the app and it, it did everything that uh, we were asking it to do. And uh, yeah, so we were able to create playlists and also search. So uh, all this was developed using auto hotkey code and uh, that's all she wrote guys. So uh, we're gonna go in here and uh, we're going to, um, well, I already showed you how to search. Uh, you just type in here uh, what you want and then push okay. If you were wanting to uh, create a playlist or um, some sort of XML here, so I'm going to go to Tools. And if I were to click Show, I could type in Mario and it would show all the Marios. Um, I'd hit OK. If I wanted to add uh, an extra uh, game to an existing wheel, uh, what I could do is I'm going to click Add and then I'm gonna to go to the type of wheel that I had previously created. So I'm gonna to go to the main menu and I see top games. So let's say for whatever reason, I forgot to add Mario to the top games XML. I could select top games, search Mario and hit okay. I'm gonna find all the Mario games that, uh, that it ends up searching for. And then I could just click the uh, green check mark to add to that XML. Uh, to hit the back button here uh, so you also might have seen genre here you can create um, custom genres uh, you know for your wheels as well Let me go back so if I were to hit save so this this feature is when I want uh, to create a new playlist for example I would uh, type it well I'd first push save and then I would say main menu this is a nested wheel, so it is technically the main menu here. And then I would you know, type in Snowboard Kids. Uh, I used to beat my brother at this game all the time. Uh, his uh, neighbor uh, friend here. And, uh, type in Snowboard Kids. So I'm creating the name of the playlist. I'm searching for uh, the playlist. Uh, so I'm going to just you know, click each one of these. Uh, I can hold down the control button to click uh, individual or uh, hold down shift and uh, click top and bottom to highlight everything. And then I would just hit the green check mark and that's going to create uh, that database. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit the X button to go back. And you guys might ask, where does that XML go? Or where, you know, where does it get populated? If you go to the database folder, just like what uh, you normally would do, uh, you would end up ultimately finding a folder named Snowboard Kids. Uh, and when you open it, you would see Storm Snowboard Kids. Um, so I'm going to go back here. We're going to go back. And if you wanted to delete a current playlist, uh, you would just click delete. You would select the one that you wanted. I personally just like to go to the database folder, delete it um, as I wish. If I wanted to edit Snowboard Kids, I could click Edit, Main, and then uh, I would select Snowboard Kids and I would essentially just hit OK. I wouldn't have to search anything because I'm editing. Uh, 
a playlist. And export. So uh, if you want to export, so this was an older feature as well um, before you know, we got into the hot mess of things. Uh, that export feature, essentially if you want to create a, um, a playlist and you want to export it to the genres, um, you know, uh, playlist, or sorry, genres folder where you can um, enter a wheel, select genre, and then you'd be able to see uh, a custom genre list. So there, the possibilities are endless here, guys, uh, but uh, it's really convoluted for what um, you guys might be using HyperSearch for. I would recommend the uh, other HyperSearch uh, video that uh, I had created uh, the other day, but for playlists, for sure, your workflow is going to be uh, very quick, uh, and that is just going to be going uh, save here. You're going to select main menu. You're going to type in the playlist. So you could say Batman and then you would put in Batman up at the top to search and you'd hit OK. If I hit OK here, I'm going to get an error because I already have Batman in existence. Um, once you've searched, you'll have that list of all the Batman games and you'll just hold down the control button and just click each Batman game that you want and you'll hit the green check mark. Uh, to complete it. Uh, so that's all there is to it, guys. Uh, hope that helps you guys create playlists and or uh, use this to search for games on your system. I'm going to hit uh, escape here. And uh, just as a, a reminder, like I always do with uh, the videos, uh, what you'll want to do is you want to add this to your startup script, that ghutch startup script uh, video that I had created for you guys. So I'm going to go to the multi-program folder. I'm going to go to the uh, HS startup INI. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add uh, hyper XML spin. Let's see. Hyper XML spin is probably should have searched on. Let's see. Let's say XML spin. So, scroll back up to the top. So, hyper XML spin, uh, I've got uh, here on the exit. So, when hyper spin closes, I'm going to ha basically have hyper XML spin close as well. Um, and you're going to wonder why, why is it not in the startup uh, section of all of this? Uh, the reason being is because in your uh, settings folder, when you guys create a playlist, uh, if you followed the prior video, uh, the sole purpose that I have for Hyper XML Spin is to play those uh, those games regardless of system. So if you open up one of the playlists uh, that I had talked about in uh, the prior video, you're gonna notice in the XE uh, file here, uh, you're gonna see Hyper XML Spin is called and um, that's when it opens. And I just wanna make sure that when I'm done with hyperspin, then that closes uh, hyper XML spin. So that's why I add to the exit part of that script uh, hyper XML spin, because once this opens once, it's hiding in your uh, system tray. So uh, just be aware of that. And uh, yeah, that's it. So that's hyper XML spin. Uh, we'll catch you on the uh, next video. All right, take care.